Now, there are a lot of baseball people that are on the field as the celebration's happening and Altuve is rounding third. Now, you might say, well, this is unfair to even bring up, but the people I spoke to last night brought it up to me. I started to think. And once you get caught cheating mm -hmm. at anything, you are always going to be maybe thought of as a cheater. Mm -hmm. Whether you stop after you cheated once or not, that, that, that stink is always going to be on your body. And it's going to leave open for interpretation everything that's ever been done. Now, do you believe that the Astros cheated so blatantly in, in 2017 and completely stopped? No, no way. I think they changed the I, way they did it. I think they probably got funky. They probably got very creative. Yes. Baseball people that were around the field and could hear Altuve is screaming as he rounds third no. to his teammates that are waiting at home plate, don't rip off my uniform top. Don't rip it off. He's screaming I at remember them. that. I remember yeah. that. Could it be because there was some kind of electronic device under the uniform? Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to go there. Because a lot of people were saying over the last month when this all came out, teams might have been experimenting with sending little vibrations to wires that were around the wrist or around the chest that would indicate a certain pitch. Well, I'm not listen. saying that it happened, but you do remember him screaming, don't rip very, off my uniform Very top. clearly, because um, <clears throat> Joe commented on it. That was, that was Fox, right? Yeah. They commented on it that he was saying. I think in his interview, they asked him about it. I think they mentioned it to him. I mean, that's how much he wanted thing, the look, jersey. Pete right. Alonso has, and, his, you know, the, the Mets players ripped the jersey off. But for him to be that, like... Oh, he was dead set on it. I remember it. I remember. not rip my jersey hey, off. Listen, I don't have a leg to stand on, right? I mean, obviously, they've been caught cheating, so anything is possible. So right. I, can't, I can't come on and say, no way. The reason my gut says no, and maybe because I thought it was a toolbox move anyway. I thought it was ridiculous when, you know, Alonzo bare-chested after winning a regular season So ripping game. the jersey off is I don't a like the ripping move. the okay. jersey off. And I remember thinking at the time, because I look at Altuve, I, at least I did, as, as a real classy guy. I'm like, this is a great moment. This is an historic moment. Do you really want, like, a jersey that could be kind of something cool to keep? That's the jersey you hit the game-winning home run, like, torn apart? Like, so I kind of looked at it as, I don't, I don't want to oh, be yeah. that guy and have the jersey ripped off. But you bring up a good point. I mean, anything is possible now. It's all on the table. My gut says no, but, Michael, enough evidence is piled up that I guess it's got to be worth considering. Yeah. Well, again, once you're implicated in yeah. something like this, and any people from baseball are wondering. What, a lot of people at that time were wondering. They didn't just put two and two together. Now the numbers are right there on the chalkboard. Why was he screaming, don't rip off my jersey? Now, now let the fantasies begin.